Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at what this hashed area means with a kind of lighter gray area inside it. So essentially, if you see this in Final Cut Pro and you're continuing to edit in Final Cut Pro, then you want to just kind of check that you know how this is set up before you go any further. So essentially, what we have here is a group of three clips within a compound clip. So this is not actually our main timeline. So when you see this hashed area, it actually means we're inside that compound clip. So the first thing to do is have a look up at your library and just look for your timelines and where you're working. So in your timeline, you should always have the name of the timeline up here. You can see it says music video clip here, which is the first clue that we have. And the name of my timeline is actually music video. So these names would actually be the same thing. So the, the clue is in the word clip. So we have a compound clip. So if we scroll down here, you can see the music video clip, which is where we're at, is actually a separate clip of these three short videos. So if I scroll up and have a look at my main timeline here, double click on there, you can see the music video clip is this compound clip. So if you do see this visual of the lighter gray area with the hashed lines around the outside, it means you're actually in this group clip. So I'm going to double click on my main project timeline here to come out of that again. So the way that you create these is to highlight a few different clips and go to File, New, and Compound Clip. And basically that is gonna wrap up those four clips that I had selected into a new compound clip. You can see here it's called Music Video Clip 1. And basically it's gonna treat them all as one clip. So I can shorten them, I can lengthen them, and I can add things like color adjustment to all those clips in one go. So if I come up to my color correction, this is handy if I say I wanted to desaturate all four of those clips in one go, I can drop down the saturation and you can see all four of those clips have been desaturated. If I double click into my clip, into my compound clip, then you can see we have those four clips there. Now in this example, the hash gray lines are just on the right hand side. And the reason for that is if we come back to the main storyline, so I'm just using the back button up there, then this original music video clip has been trimmed. So basically, I've changed the in point and out point of that original music video clip, rather than music video clip one, and trimmed it down. So if I trim this second one down, then we'll see when we double click in there that it's these lines, these white lines either side, which is defining which area is actually showing on our main timeline. So this is basically a really useful tool in Final Cut Pro if we want to simplify what we're using in our layers and our timeline. If we want to get these clips out of here, then I can highlight all those, go to Edit and Copy, and then come back. And then I'll place my playhead here. I can do an Edit and Paste, or Command and V, and then I've got those four clips back in place. I can delete the compound clip that I had there before. So that's what a compound clip is, basically a group when you want to group things together. It can also be useful, for instance, if we have type over a layer. So I'm going to come into my type tools here. We'll come into the Brett Effects power tools and I'm just going to grab one of these simple text animations. So sometimes if we have a text animation over a few clips, we'll just trim this one down here quickly. So I have my animated text on. So sometimes I might want to actually group all these clips together. So to group all that together, I'm going to highlight it all and then go to File, New and Compound Clip. Click OK and you can see that changes it into that one click. Now the advantage of that is that when I actually want to edit this, say the color or perhaps even speed up or slow down bits of it, it's going to edit all those layers that I now have in the compound clip in one go. So I've got a different level of control within that group layer over things I can do. Super useful as you get more advanced with your, your editing. So if you do see in your edits these clips and you don't know what they are and you're not quite sure how to use them, then the easiest way to get out of this is just select all those clips, copy them, come back into your library. So I'm coming to the top left here to my libraries, back into your main timeline, and then paste those clips back into the right spots until you're ready to use those compound clips or those grouped layers in your edits. And then we can delete the original compound clip. So definitely some things to think about there as you're getting used to working in Final Cut Pro. I know a lot of the visual tools can be a little bit confusing at first. And if you do have any of those 
beginner problems in Final Cut Pro, then do leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.